going, AJ? Good to see you again. Just uh, what is your personal goal for this season? Do you have one, uh, you know, after your last two years have gone, you know, with, with some NBA draft buzz, do you have one uh, overriding goal for this year? Uh, my personal goal is just to win and just show that we can win, make the tournament, and actually before make the tournament, play games, have a good season, and then make the tournament. Let's go to Colin Taylor. Tournament. Yeah, AJ, just kind of how how good does it feel to kind of like finally be in a game week after all the uncertainty that's happened and kind of where do you feel like your game game is right now? Feels great. Like last night I could barely sleep because I was just thinking about playing. I like, can't wait to play. And I just can't wait to step on there, uh, showcase our team, and just come on and play hard and, and just put on a show for everyone that's watching. Let's go to Mike Yuva. AJ, uh, Frank was talking about just last year in terms of being able to get the, the guard play up and how important that is, especially early on in the year. You know, how, how much do you think, not just you personally, but just that, that position as a whole, you guys have been able to grow from last season? And, and how important do you guys take that, especially when you hear your coach say that early on in the year? Uh, I think that's very important. I feel like this year we have, like, a lot of experience with the guards position. We have me, Jermaine, TJ, Sev, Trey, all sorts of Keisha and just all guards that can play. And I feel like this year we have a lot of experience, so we're going to have fun this year because we all know what we're doing and we all gel together. We have good chemistry. I feel like this year is going to be good. Let's go to John Del Bianco. The coaches uh, in the SEC voted you first uh, first team all SEC preseason. Do, what does that mean to you? Do, do you enjoy that recognition? Uh, it's an honor. I feel like I'm happy to be recognized and I just can't wait to show what I can do and broadcast my talents and just play hard because if I do that, things will fall in line. Jermaine got second team. Do you, have you guys gone back and forth about, about uh, those rankings or? Uh, no? uh, now we both can crack, crack each other. We're both happy that we, that we got recognized because usually with us, we don't really get recognized like that. So it's happy to get recognized like that. So we're happy. Let's go to Michael and Anna. Hey, AJ. Um, Frank was talking a little bit about how he thinks this team is maybe a little bit underappreciated as far as, you know, the experience that you guys bring back, you know, the scoring you're able to put up last year, you and Jermaine. Do you do you guys get that sense? Do you guys feel like you're maybe not talked about enough? And does that, if so, like, does that provide a little fuel for you guys? Maybe that's sort of a chip on your shoulder? Uh, definitely. For all the years I've been here, we always had, like, that underdog mentality because we always feel like we haven't been respected at the level that we should be. So it just adds extra fuel to our fire. And I feel like we're going to come out and just be hungry. Like, like how we've been practicing. Let's go to Colin Taylor. Yeah, Frank kind of talked a couple weeks ago, just about not knowing where this team is defensively, just because you guys have been so good on the offensive end. Just where do you guys feel like you are defensively right now uh, leading into the season? I feel like we're, uh, we're pretty good defensively. We can always get better and gel together, still work on things, communicating and stuff like that. But I feel like this year, uh, we all been working hard at practice and getting, getting after each other. And offensively, we've been playing great because all experience and we know what to do offensively. So defensively, we just got to keep gelling and go out there and produce. How much does it help to have a bunch of guys that have played a lot of minutes on the defensive end and, and kind of know what Frank's asking you guys to do out there? Uh, it helps a lot because we have experience now and we can help the freshmen, help people that like misunderstand or like just not feeling good, not, you know, just – not having a good day can always help because that's just what leaders do, help lead by example and talk to whoever needs help. Let's go to Ben Briner. Uh, hey, AJ. I wanted to ask, you know, as you get ready to kind of start the season, when you look at your game, where do you feel is the biggest difference and the biggest step forward from where your game was when last year's season wrapped up? Uh, I'll just say the biggest step forward I've made right now is just my decision-making, playing with more tempo, and just trying to cut, like for me, trying to cut down on my turnovers and make better decisions and passes. Let's go back to Colin Taylor. Uh, that practice or preseason practice is a little bit over and you're starting to kind of do some scouting work. Who's had the best dunk um, in practice so far and kind of where do you feel like the, that camaraderie is right now? Um, best dunk? Uh, I'm going to say Keisha. You know, he's a high flyer, always dunking. Probably gets a dunk almost every day. But I had a good couple of dunks too, so. Okay with that. Most surprising dunk guy that probably threw down the one that you maybe didn't expect. Uh, I'd probably say like just the other day, Keyshawn got like a mean putback one hand like at the top. I don't know how high it was, but it's a putback and it was crazy. 
Go to Michael and Anna. With, with how strange this offseason has been, do you feel like it's maybe brought you guys closer together as a team just be, because of just the, the strangeness of the whole situation? And have there been any, I don't know, any activities or things that you guys have done to help maybe, you know, just the being isolated and all that, like any video games you guys play or group text or anything that you guys have done to keep yourselves sort of entertained throughout, you know, the whole pandemic? Uh, definitely. I feel like it's brought us all together because we have to look out for one another, one another and I feel like just having a PS4, playing 2K, just all that st st type of stuff we've been doing together. That's, that's I guess that's what brought us closer because we got on the mic talking together and on the court, just always communicating. So it uh, definitely brought us together. Who, who's the, be honest, who's the best 2K player? Is there a clear cut number one? <laughs> I'm going to say myself, obviously, but there's some good guys out there. Um, Who do you play I, with? I say Zoe, good. Zoe, Trey Hannibal, me, Jermaine. Do you have a go-to team that you play with in 2K? Me, Zoe, and Trey Hannibal. Okay. <laughs> Are we talking about like, oh, team, team? Like, yeah, like yeah, team yeah. Like yeah. Like team. Oh. I use the Lakers. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. <laughs> Let's go to Mike Yuva. AJ, where, where's your mindset this year in comparison to last year? Do you feel like you're you're more loose, you know, the, in terms of pressure? Because I'm sure, you know, going into last season, you, you could have thought about, okay, you know, will this be my last season at South Carolina? Do you feel kind of just more loose and, and the pressure's not really as as cranked up maybe as it, as it was last season? Oh, I definitely feel loose. No nerves, no nothing like that. Ready to play. Uh, my focus on this season, that only, and that's just it. I'm just, I'm just focused. Did you think about that, though, a lot last season? Do you think that played into just how things played out for you at the beginning of the year? Uh, I feel, Yeah, last year I did think about it. And me and Frank talked about that. Uh, this year, we focus on us and about winning and about myself, to my own development. Let's go to Mitch Brown. Going back to 2K, AJ, uh, I just need to know, if Frank Martin makes y'all play this intense defense, do y'all play user defense or do you cherry pick in 2K, it's, a, it's an important question. I cherry pick. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how you we got to work on that, man. <laughs> but now, nah, if I'm playing like on the park with like with my own character, I'm definitely gonna play defense because my guy, he got them badges, so I, I do good.